Yo, if you're a point and clicker like me, you're gonna love a good mouse. So I've got the MX Master 3. Links will be down in the description box below if you're after one. And let's get this open. Ta-da! Well, not quite, but a box inside of a box. So nothing else in there. So we'll leave that to one side. And we've got MX on the top here. Logitech down here, matte black box. Ooh, look at that. Does that look cool or what? Now, just to show you what I was rocking previously, I've had this for a number of years, MX Performance, and this is very cool indeed. I've had it for years, but I found that I wanted a scroller along the thumb here, and it didn't have it. So, and yeah, it's Tech September, why not? So, let's get this out. Ooh, that does feel good in the hand, and we've got the... USB, Bluetooth. Let's see if we can just pull this out. Nothing else in there. That's a lot of reading material. You've got a USB type C cable here. So you've got USB A along the one side and you've got the Logitech branded USB type C. No batteries required because you've got a USB type C port along the front that you can charge it with. Incidentally, one minute quick charge gets you three hours worth of use and a complete full charge gets you over 70 hours worth of use. How cool. Is that, I might never need to charge a sink in weeks. It talks about a companion maybe for your mouse here. So if you need a keyboard maybe, you never know. Link's down in the description. Health and safety information gone absolutely crazy. Send us some PDFs or some links to download if we really want to read them. No need to give us paperwork that we're gonna bin. And we've got a quick start guide here of basically what all the buttons do and where to charge it and there's a battery inside, etc. Interestingly, the plastic used here is very grippy indeed. It's not smooth like the generation that I've got. Even the buttons across the top here gets a little bit smoother compared to the body here, but it's still fairly grippy indeed. And the mouse wheel, oh my days. How cool is that? It actually feels really, really good. I didn't think the scroll wheel could get any better than the Performance MX, the one that I've got, but it does. It's the perfect amount of clickiness between little nudges here and free spinning. It actually feels really, really good in the hand. I cannot even put into words how good that feels. And the scroll along the thumb here, it actually feels really good in the hand. Definitely more uh, stiffer than the scroll wheel up top here. And there's no gears like the, the front one you can click through. This one's more of a free spinner, but there's more uh, tension to it, I'm gonna say, so it doesn't you can't really spin it for a very long time. You have to little nudges like that. So you've got the buttons either side and then a battery indicator just up here. So on the face of it, very cool indeed. Fits the hand very, very well indeed. Along the back, you've got basically power button. You can pair it using a USB stick that came with it or Bluetooth on a laptop and you can go to the URL here and you can switch between three devices so you can use this with three separate devices which is absolutely awesome and because this thing's got batteries inside of it it does provide instructions on how you can remove the batteries at this thing for disposal if you need to but yeah now we get the smooth plastic underneath this thing how cool does that actually look even on the underside i just want to put these side by side just to show you the fact that the new one seems to have a steeper incline than the previous generation. The one I've got, the Performance MX here. And if you've ever used an ergonomic mouse, you'll notice that your hand isn't flat on the mouses. They're always at an upright angle. The more ergonomic they are, because your hand's not meant to be flat, it's meant to be at an angle. And this one does definitely fit in the hand really, really well. Now this just feels like a relic. Look at it flashing, look at it flashing green while it's charging up here. Gonna pair it with my Dell XPS 15. And if you haven't seen the video, check out the link in the description where you've been. So we've got the Dell XPS 15 here and we've got the MX Master 3. So we're just gonna switch this on here and it should just pick it up. So as you can see, number one is flashing there. So, cause there's no other device that I've actually hooked up to this thing. So let's go into our Bluetooth settings. I'm gonna go to add device, Bluetooth, mice, keyboards, blah, blah, blah. And straight away, it can see the MX Master 3. So it's the top one here. So I'm just gonna hit that. And it says connecting, your device is ready to go. 
and you can see the mouse moving. How easy was that? Could you get pairing any more easier than that? Very clickety clackety buttons indeed, very satisfying. It's not a quiet mouse, so if you're a gamer playing during the night and you wanna keep your noise down, this one's not for you. You got the buttons across the left and right. I like the fact that there's a gap between them so you can differentiate between whether you're going forwards or backwards in a browser here. I love the fact that I haven't even gone into an application to customize any of these buttons yet, but just simply scrolling up and down in Premiere Pro here, and you can see that timeline going backwards and forwards. How cool is that? I do have very skinny long fingers, but this thing doesn't feel too big and it doesn't feel too small in the hand, like a glove, like a glove is all I'm saying. Let me know in the comment section down below what mouse do you use and why you love it. See you.